In this video, Dr. Van Dyken talks about when you hum, you increase the nitric oxide in your nasal passage, and that makes your blood system increases in size and more blood flow to the lung, which for a guy with neuropathy could use more blood. While we're on the topic of heart and blood vessel disease, this ties in nicely with the fact that reduced nitric oxide concentrations have been noted in a number of cardiac diseases, and treatment with nitric oxide has been shown to be beneficial. Inhaled nitric oxide has been shown to increase pulmonary blood flow or blood flow to the lungs, right ventricular contractility, and drug-induced pulmonary hypertension. Nitric oxide, as discussed in our last video, reduces blood pressure by vasodilatation. So you have a blood vessel like this, it dilates it. It appears to cause relaxation of the smooth muscle in our arteries. It's so powerful that nitric oxide pathways are becoming new drug targets for refractory hypertension, or in other words, hypertension that doesn't seem to respond to your standard medical treatment. Okay, so back to the humming to treat and prevent rhinosinusitis. Reminds me of... So, I need to be humming. Not very expensive humming. Humming will cause the nitric dioxide in my air passages to increase my uh, lungs to be able to get more oxygen flow the blood quicker more oxygen more blood to my legs neuropathy hopefully gets better i like this a lot of yoga 